Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. So in the last week we've seen the release of the new Guilds of Ravnica set and I think it's about time we open up the Guilds of Ravnica bundle. So let's take a look at what we can find inside of this wonderful box. So we have the usual assortment of goodies. We have a player's guide, a 75 card basic land pack, 10, 15 card Guilds of Ravnica booster packs, a spin down life counter, uh, a premium foil version of each basic land. Okay, so that's uh, a new thing, and um, this ultimately turns into a card box. And it's also got we have plus two reference cards. So interesting to see the inclusion of foil land now in this. And as, as it's pretty much become the norm now, um, I've deliberately not looked at any of the spoilers. Um, so it's nice and fresh for me coming through this. And as I mentioned before, what used to be a spacer inside the box, they've turned into a, an external spacer which turns into a rather handy storage box. I use this generally for spin down dice and other such magic related stuff. So I'll have a look through the player's guide in a moment. Let's just have a look at what's in here and put it all apart. So here's our spin down counter. Uh, dice there with uh, green numbers and mottling. Hopefully that's coming out clear on the camera. This is uh, something they've been doing for a long time but I do like this, this adjustable part now of the box. Particularly useful for someone like me that doesn't actually buy a ton of boosters. Um, I normally just buy uh, the, the bundle and uh, maybe some other extra booster packs, and so uh, I don't always fill one of these up with the particular set. So it's quite nice to be able to just stop that from uh, stop the cards from moving around. There's our land pack with the foil one there. We've got these little uh, turn guides here and uh, building the deck building a deck of the basics cards so these are these reference cards are that they talk about here's our 10 packs of boosters not much artwork on on the actual box itself pretty straightforward Let's just focus in on this because this is going to give us some pointers for the set. Particularly useful as I've I've not uh, not looked through in any great depth. So we're not with um, Magic: The Gathering. There's no real blocks anymore. Um, you know, there's going to be three sets that are related to Ravnica um, it's not really a block as in each set stand alone but if you did view this as a block this will be like the third occasion we visited Ravnica um, so we had the original um, block which started off with the Ravnica City of Guild set and then we had a, the return to Ravnica um, set, which uh, started off the next block of uh, three sets. And now we have Guilds of Ravnica. So what they're going to do uh, with these is, my understanding is we're going to have five guilds in the, the first set. And then I'm assuming five guilds in the next. And then... Uh, 
It'd be interesting to see what they do in the last set. I'm assuming they'll have all 10, but we'll have to wait and see until then. So in this particular set, the five guilds are Dimir, Dimir, which is blue-black, is it, which is blue-red, Golgari, which is black-green, Boros, which is red-white, and Selesnia, which is green-white. So House D Dimir, is it League, Golgari Swarm, Boros Legion, and Selesnia Conclave. And there's a bit of a backstory here to the current situation in Ravnica. Reference to Raul Zeric, who is obviously the relevant one of the relevant characters in the storyline. And we've got Vraska. And then a little bit about the each of the houses that are relevant to this particular set, so House Dim Dimir, the Izzet League, Golgari Swarm, so like the main protagonists, Boros Legion, Selesnia Conclave, and then the ten coolest cards in the set. So we've got Vraska Golgari Queen, Divine Visitation, Invert Invent, Arc Light Phoenix, Omni Spell Adept, Tajik Legion's Edge, Night Veil Predator, Word Soil, Colossus, Gruesome Menagerie, and Housed Guild Mage. And then here's our card encyclopedia. So we're starting off with obviously white, blue, we're going through in Wooburg order. Black, red. Just get a bit of an overview of the set here. Green. And being this is a two colour themed set, it'd be interesting to see what uh, two colour cards we have. Green, black, red, white, blue, red, green, white. So no surprise to see a, a fair number of two color cards. And then obviously this is something we've seen in uh, Magic before. And in the back here you can see we've got the gates which have been a feature in uh, the Return to Ravnica block but also see so we can see this here so we have the shock lands but uh, at this point there's only three of them so we've got steam vents blue red Temple Garden, which is the green white one, and Watery Grave, which is the blue black. So for each of these, as they enter the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. So obviously, in the subsequent sets, I imagine we're going to see the rest of these spread over the the sets. But you can see for the Looking at the gates. Oh, that's interesting. So, just looking there. Oh, the sacred foundry as well. So, how many? So, yeah, obviously, we've got the the ones for the relevant colours. The, for the guilds that this is revolving around, I'm just looking. Oh, here we go, yeah. So, yeah, both the shock lands and 
the gill gate for the relevant colour combinations. Yeah, interesting they've got uh, the two two pieces of artwork there. They're pretty cool actually. Okay, so this is the other thing if you're not used to this. There's a number of cards up the back which are exclusive to the Planeswalker deck. So um, as each set comes out now, Wizards produce plain wa Planeswalker decks. Um, and they're sort of in the place of what was intro packs and previously uh, theme decks. And what they've been doing for quite a while now is for those decks, they've had certain cards which aren't available apart from in those decks. And um, so you can see here, we've got, uh, you know, it's a Planeswalker deck, so there's a Planeswalker for each of the, the decks, and then a number of support cards. What I'm curious about here, and maybe I'll skip through it, is I actually don't see mention normally when they do these. They will make a reference to the mechanics and relevant abilities for the set. So we're just going to probably see those as we go through here. But yeah, I've not seen that. Interesting. Okay. So let's just open up this land pack. for each of the colours and then we move on to the remainder which are unfoiled. Oh they've actually sorted them all this time. That's interesting. Okay. I don't think I've seen them do that on a set before. Um, so in here, in the land packs, the artwork's actually all the same for each colour. Which means I've got to go through the whole pack. So yeah, they put them um, all together and there's only one of each piece of artwork. I'm going to have a quick look at the player's guide again, just to see what's going on here. This is, uh, and you approach. someone just wants to clarify that in the comments section as to whether that's the case. I think as, as I go through the packs, if they've got, oh there we go, it's at the very very end there of the land. So yeah, just one of each piece of artwork. Well that's the first, I wonder what made them do that. It's very lazy. Okay, 
Moving on to the pack, probably what everybody's come here to see. All, already 15 minutes in, so let's crack on with these, see what we can pull. Okay, so first up we have the Dev Guardian. It's a creature human knight, it's a 2 4 and th 3 and a white with Convoke. So your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell plays one or one mana of that creature's colour. The reason why I'm sort of dwelling on this common, which I don't normally do, is obviously um, without the the usual breakdown that you get in the player's guide for the different abilities. We're just going to tackle them as, as I find them. So a couple of things to notice here. Um, we've got the relevant green-white ability, but also, I don't know if you can see that, there's the, the, the appropriate uh, watermark there for, for green-white for Selesnia. And you can see a number of these cards are probably going to, well, will have a relevant watermark on here. So we've got Unexplained Disappearance with another ability. Um, this, I think this is a, yeah, this is a new one. Uh, Surveil 1. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Cosmotronic Wave. Wary Okapi. Mood Mark Painter. This has undergrowth on it. So it's obviously a Golgari ability. You can see the Golgari watermark on there. So undergrowth. When Mood Mark Painter enters the battlefield, target creature gains menace and gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures of creature cards in your graveyard. Commander Storm. Capture Sphere. We've got Golgari lockets here, so it looks like there's some artifacts. Which uh, this is something else you'll see in these sort of often see in the, these sort of two color sets where you've got some artifact mana fixing, generally around the three mana mark. So we've got the Golgari one, Golgari locket, three to cast, tap, add black or green, and for uh, four black green hybrid mana and tap, sacrifice it and draw two cards. Manical Rage or Maniacal Rage should I say. Hired Poisoner. So we're moving on to Uncommons. Join Shields. Conclave Tribunal, another card with Convoke on it. Sunhome Stalwart with Mentor on it, so that's uh, Boros Watermark, so Boros Ability, uh, Mentor, whenever this creature attacks put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. And our rare is Firemind's Research. Blue Red Enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge count on Firemind's Research. For one and a blue, remove two charge counters from Firemind's Research, draw a card. One and a red, remove five charge counters from Firemind's Research. It deals five damage to any target. And taking up our land slot, we have an Is It Gilgate? So tap comes into battlefield taps, and then when it untaps, taps for blue or red. And we have a soldier token. So putting a, a dual land in the land slot is something we've seen before in the Ravnica, uh, previous Ravnica sets. Okay, next pack. Take heart. 
give me informant. It's got surveil two on it. So I don't know if you I you have the same trouble as me. Um, at some angles, it's actually quite difficult to see the writing um, with the with the watermarks on there. That's the only problem sometimes. Rubble belt, rubble belt bore. Pax favor has convoke. Child of Night, so reprint, new artwork, Sumala Woodshaper, the other thing I've noticed with the two colour cards, uh, and the gold border cards, the particular um, watermark is a lot more pronounced in that it's, it's coloured there, in the two colours. So it sort of makes it pop a bit better. Hypothesis all. And we've got Prey Upon in the set. Grav Gravitic Punch. Oh, here's the Dimir Locket. So, same thing here. Um, three to cast. This one taps for blue or black because it's Dimir. And the, the four blue black hybrid cost and tap sacrificed in a locket draw two cards. So you get to, uh, if it no longer is useful as uh, mana fixing, then you can actually get it to draw two cards, get it to replace itself for a cost. Boris Challenger has Mentor on it. Pilfering Imp. Inspiring Unicorn. So we're moving on to our uncommons. Hatchery Spider is our rare. So another card with undergrowth on it. So Hatchery Spider, 5 and 2 green. Creature Spider with reach. It's a 5-7. Has undergrowth. When you cast your spell, reveal the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You may put a green permanent card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order and our guild gate is the is it guild gate and we have an insect token <coughs> ornery goblin skyline scout Wall of Mist. Crawl Foragers with undergrowth on it. Mood Mark Painter. Another card with undergrowth. You can see the big differences uh, in the undergrowth costs there. So it's quite a big thing. So with the Crawl Foragers, when Crawl Foragers enter the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature card in your graveyard. And on the Mood Mark Painter, when it enters the battlefield, target creature gains Menace and gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Wary a copy. It seems colour relevant there, that uh, undergrowth cost. Or, yeah, or what, sorry, that undergrowth effect, should I say. Veiled Share, Shade. Siege Worm is in here, it's got Convoke on it. Goblin Electromancer is also in the set. Arboretum Elemental with Convoke. Rampaging Monument, so we're moving on to our uncommons. Street Riot. And our rare is March of the Multitude. So we've got our first Mythic, three packs in. X, green and two white, instant with Convoke on it. So your creatures can help you cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell is placed for one or one mana of that creature's colour. Create X, one, one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. And we have a foil child of night. So that's a wire. One and a black, two one with lifelink on it. And in our land slot we have a Silesnia Guild Gate and we've got a bird illusion token. Okay, 
Okay, so maximize velocity, healer's hawk, wish coin crab, shore strike, burglar rat, pax favor, another convoke card, another child of night, urban utopia. Pause for reflection. Watch it in the mist. It's got surveil two on it. Murmuring mystic. Cares about instant or sorcery spells. So this is where you get to create your one one blue bird illusion creature tokens. That we had in that pack. Sunhome stalwart with mentor on it. So moving on to uncommons. We dragonauts. Is in the set and our rare is experimental frenzy so we've got three and a red enchantment you may look at the top card of your library any time you may play the top card of your library you can't play cards from your hand three and a red destroy experimental frenzy and in a landslot we have a golgari guild gate and we've got a soldier token Fearless Halberdier, Righteous Blow, Leapfrog, Goblin Locksmith, Wild Ceratoc, another Child of Night, so we've got a full complement of Child of Night, another Urban Utopia, another Burglar Rat. Gateway Plaza, so this is a, a land gate which has uh, fixing, so Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield tap. When Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you pay one. Tap, add one mana of any colour. Goblin Electromancer. Swarm Guild Mage. So you notice there's Guild Mages in the set. Sinister Sabotage and a Swithe Cutter Giant and in our rare slot so we have Response to Resurgence I think is the correct way to say that so Response deals 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature and resurgence creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn after this main phase there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase and for the response part that's um, hybrid two hybrid red white and for the resurgence part it's three red white and we've got a dimir guild gate and a elf knight so that sort of split card format uh, is something that we've seen several occasions in various magic sets over the years ornery goblin Skyline Scout, Wall of Mist, Wojcik Bodyguard with Mentor on it, Wild Ceratok, Spinal Centipede, it's a pretty evil looking centipede. Vigor Spore Worm with undergrowth on it. Burglar Rat. 
is it locket so this is the the is it uh, artifact for mana fixing deadly visit with surveil 2 cruel harpooner another card with undergrowth on it justice strike street riot and our rare is Expansion to Explosion. So for the expansion parts, uh, hybrid blue red, two of those. Copy target instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost four or less, you may choose new targets for the copy. And the explosion part, X to blue to red. Instant explosion deals X damage to any number of target player. Sorry. Explosion does X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards. And our guild gate is an Izzet guild gate. We have an emblem for Vraska. So clearly Vraska generates emblems if we manage to get one. Uh, whenever a creature you control does combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Strike, Righteous Blow, Vidalcan Mesmerist, Portcullis Vine, Dowser of Lights, Whisper Agent with Flash on it and Surveil 1, Candle Vigil, Sonic Assault has Jump Start on it so have a look at jump start you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs then exile this card rhizome lurcher has undergrowth on it fresh faced recruit beacon bolt another card with jump start on it No surprise to see lots of card in blue in cards in blue red that care, in, care about instants and sorceries. Affectionate Indrik, Okran Assassin, with Death Touch on it. Okay, so we have our first legend and our second mythic. Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. Two a red white a legendary creature angel it's a two five with flying and mentor so whenever this creature attacks put a one one counter on target attacking creatures with lesser power at the beginning of combat on your turn choose up to one target creature you control until end of turn that creature gains plus two plus zero gains trample if it's red and gains vigilant if it's white that's pretty cool and we've got Golgari Guildgate and a soldier token. Rubble belt ball. Skyline scout. Pass wall adept. Another spinal centipede, something that will give you nightmares. A vigor spore worm, pitiless gorgon, hammer dropper with mentor on it, artful takedown. I've got a modal card there. Choose one or both. Tap target creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus four until end of turn, and for a cost of two blue black. Somala Woodshaper, Apothecizzle, Lava Coil, 
Beam Splitter Mage, Rampaging Monument, and our rare is Legion Warboss. So two and a red for a two-two creature goblin soldier with mentor. So whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. And in our land stroke guild gate slot, we have a Dimir guild gate. And then we've got an elf knight, an elf knight token. So just two more packs. We're doing pretty good at the moment on the... Um, mythic count we've got two so far out of these packs so that's uh, slightly higher than uh, you'd expect it used to be um, i think it's around one in six torch courier hunted witness vidalcan mesmerist Vigor Spore Worms, you're seeing we're starting to get a lot of repeats now in the common slots. Now we've opened several packs. Severed Strands. Sonic Assault. It's got Jump Start on it. Rhizome Lurcher, which we saw earlier with Undergrowth. Fresh Freight. Fresh Faced Recruit. Mephitic Vapors Surveil 2. All creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Blade Instructor has Mentor on it. Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Electrostatic Field. Grappling Sundew. And in our rare slot we have Mission Briefing. So two blue for an instant. And it has on it Surveil 2. Then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. To surveil to look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your battlefield and the rest on top of your library in any order. And we've got a Golgari Gilgate and another Bird Illusion token. Okay, our last pack. So we've also already had our one foil that I would expect at least uh, to see at least one when I'm opening 10 packs of boosters. So let's see what we have in the last pack. Sure Strike. Righteous Blow. Vidalcan Mesmerist. Generous Stray. Severed Strands, Venardi Shieldmate, Piston Fist Cyclops, another Pitiless Gorgon, another Hammer Dropper, another Artful Takedown, Swarm Guild Mage, so I think we'll have a quick look at these guild mages, this swarm guild mage here. So you, we've had guild mages in the past, and you, this is a, a sort of pretty much standard template for this. So obviously, it's on the in the two colours. In this case, for Golgari, so we've got uh, black green for a two two, creature elf shaman, and then what you normally find is there's an ability, or combination of abilities in either each of the colors or again a combination of colors if we're looking at you know generally guild mages as a whole through the history of magic so with this one four and a black tap creatures you control get plus one plus zero and gain menace until end of turn and just a reminder of what menace is they can't be blocked except by two or more creatures and one and a green tap you gain two life Sinister Sabotage has Surveil 1 on it. Got Swathe Cutter Giant. 
and our rare is venerated loxodon so venerated loxodon is one and a white to cast it's a creature elephant cleric it's a four four also has convoke on it so our creatures can help cast this spell and each creature you tap while casting the spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color which is cool we've seen uh, similar things before where they might only i'm talking about again through magic's history where they might contribute just to the um the uncolored casting cost but this does across the board on this card um when venerated loxodon enters the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that convoked it And then we have an Is It Gilgate and a Soldier Token. So there we have it. That's the uh, Guilds of Ravnica bundle with the 10 boosters in it. And we always pleased to see we got a legendary creature in here and a mythic. A really exemplar of justice. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.